Welcome to module three. All right, now, to recap, where we are at at this point is that we have decided on a particular form to engage the senses, one or more, all right? But by this time, we have a form, we know what our objectives are, and we're very comfortable with what we have over here. Now, this is something for you to think about for the audience. Now, what is the payoff or the reward for the audience? Now, by that, what I mean is that now, because it's an interactive experience and you want it to be an interactive experience, that means you need to motivate. You need to motivate your audience to finish the entire journey. Now, you're, you're, not, you're not going to get them to sit in some place and lock them up and they have, they're, forced, they're forcing them to see something or participate in something. So you must give them something to entice them so that they wouldn't wander off or they would want to so that they will want to finish the entire journey and get the complete picture, right? There are basically two ways to look at how you can motivate your audience. One is the idea of a reward system. So the most conventional way is that if you finish this entire journey, you, you get a prize, right? Or sometimes the idea is in the form of a payoff, which means that they need to, in order for them to finish the story of whatever that you have planned for them, they need to finish the entire journey and each station will only give one particular part of the story and it, it sh so it's almost like cliffhanger after cliffhanger you want them to continue participating in the entire journey so and it can be a combination of both which is that by the time so but by, by the time they finish the entire journey as though they are reading a storybook so that they get to the end they, they get a reward either in the form of a surprise or it's something that's promised at the very very beginning so what it is is that at the end of the day, what it is is that you shouldn't assume that your audience will want to finish the entire journey. And it's up to you as the creator to give them something, a carrot at the end of the journey so that they will want to have the carrot and eat it. And in this case, maybe a kid at the end of the journey as well. How does the journey relate to the form that we have chosen? So for example, say for example, by the end of this Module 2, I decided on Mystery Theatre. Now, Mystery Theatre, of course, the idea is that who is a who done it, who did it, right? So that in itself actually is really embedded within the form, which is that you want them to solve the crime or solve the mystery. So which means at the beginning, you want to give lay out the clues or you lay out the premise of the mystery, and then it's up to them to finish solving the mystery. Right? Sometimes it's in the form of a labyrinth. Say, for example, by the end of this particular module, I want to embark on a labyrinth. Right? Now, of course, the labyrinth is that the motivation is, I want to get out of this labyrinth. I want to get out of this maze. I want to solve this maze. Right? So, so, which is why you realize that the journey is very much tied to the form. Now, sometimes it can be very vague, meaning by the, the, by the end of this, it's going to be a video essay. So it's a series of videos, and they will want, they, they could only, trigger those videos if they will go to the respective stores. Now, that's something trickier because then there's nothing to, to, to make them go to all the stations that you have planned for them. So even if you give them a map and tell them these are the, these are the stores that you should go to, but what is the reward? What is the payoff? Uh, unless you're saying that at every station, for example, you are going to collect some ingredient, for example, and by the end of the journey, you will make something out of all the various ingredients. And the ingredient, for example, is reward yourself with chendo, right? That is a reward system. You're going to have katong laksa or have going to have a yummy chendo, but in order for you to have that chendo, you need to go to all these stations and you finish all these stations, each hawker or each station will give you something that will contribute to your chendo by the end of the experience. So, so if you don't finish all stations, you can miss very, a very important part of your ingredient, or you won't get to eat your chendo at the end. So that's what I mean by thinking about something to entice the audience to want to finish the experience. Some forms, the, the reward system is really embedded within the form, and some forms are trickier or more challenging, then it's up to you as a creator to think about how you can bookend the entire experience.